it is the story of rock and roll. And when, when you know, you think of the king of rock and roll, it's not Elvis. <laughs> it's, it's Muddy Waters, it's Lil Walter. And, and definitely the, the queen is, is Etta James. Something told me it was over. Yeah. There was this wonderful moment at the end where the record label is kind of coming to an end, as it were, and, and my character's kind of moving on. And, you know, to have a beautiful woman sing so eloquently, it just really uh, was fantastic. Something deep down in my soul said cry, girl. When I saw you and that girl walking. It would not be a Usher or a Beyonce or a Mary J. Blige or Alicia Keys without these artists. And it's important that we know where it comes from. That we go back and remember where this stuff comes from and we respect the source. Uh, of this music, that we remember this music that transcended out of those difficult times, I think is, a, is an important thing. I found a dream that I could speak to, a dream that I... Besides the music, just the, the struggles that they all had um, are things that we can still identify with, and, and there's a, you know, there's someone in this film that everyone connects to. It's dramatic and uh, it's tragic, but it's also beautiful. I think the music is fantastic. There's a lot of really sad things that happen you know, in this film, but there's also so much triumph. They were the original in this form. They were, their lives and their music is where rock and roll and hip hop and R&B and 